After legislation passed requiring schools to teach second graders cursive writing during the year. Here's that story. In today's modern world, it's useless, kind of, sort of. I don't think handwriting should have ever been pulled from the curriculum. Cursive handwriting, is it a dead skill or a rite of passage? I barely know how to write my name. It's almost like writing a letter. People don't do it anymore. But that's changing in August when all Texas schools are requiring second graders to learn cursive. It feels kind of strange, doesn't it? Yeah. Second grade teacher Sean White says she's glad the state's making a change. It kind of all ties together with the brain and helps everything to kind of work together and increases the thought process and uh, your writing is much more fluid so you can get things out a lot, a lot quicker. And even though it can take a bit of work, the kids really love it. It's, I mean, it's, it's new, it's different, and they know that it looks pretty when it's done, and so they really want to take their time and work on it. But how often do we actually use cursive? That's what we asked those passing by, and if they thought their cursive was better than a second grader. See? Cursive, oh Lord. I pushed too hard, that's what my, my teacher always got onto me for, is I, I pushed too hard, so there's probably a second grader that writes better than I do. How do we feel? <laughs> Horrible. While most could at least <laughs> write their names, Mrs. White says our penmanship can always no, use more practice because it Let's will follow you the, the rest line. of your life. And they're going to see it dots. all their lives. There's going to be something that they're going to read, they're going to see, they're going to have to write like signatures. I think it's important that they learn how to do it and do it properly. Yeah, and that was Emily Harrison reporting there. Write that down. Up next.